Whoa! Hey, great to see you all again. Welcome to my Tech Cave for affiliate marketers. Today, Cloudways. We're going to talk about downgrading. <laughs> Most people want to upgrade. Hey, but sometimes you want to downgrade. The reason why you want to downgrade sometimes is you want to save the, the, the douches. You want to save some money. Because you might have got really excited at the beginning and created a big server. But you want to like save a bit of dosh because you might not need that. So today, over the next couple of minutes, we're going to look at how to downgrade all the little steps, because there's a couple of little steps, because upgrading on Cloudware is super easy. Downgrading is a little bit tricky, but it's very possible. So are you ready? Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? Like, yeah, hey, let's do it. Woohoo! So the question is, how do you know if you actually need to downgrade or not? Basically, you know, that you're okay to downgrade. You actually need to go and check the monitoring. There's a great tool inside Cloudways, which will allow you to see the server usage for the CPU, memory, and a couple of other different things. You have to go into servers, and then basically click on monitoring, which is what we've got over here. So you can see right away, basically here's our RAM usage, which is our memory. And basically four or three out of one gig. So it's actually using 50% of our memory. CPU right now is zero. It's actually not being used this particular uh, server. And you can see the dish usage and a few other things. Click on the details tab over here. And that's gonna give you specific information for a specific metric over a specific period of time. So the top two here allow you to choose the metric and then the time period. And you'll notice that if you scroll down the bottom, which is invisible at first, you've got a six month time period. So if you're gonna downgrade servers, then basically on Cloudways, you need to be looking at over a six month period. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so it's quite busy. Now these are inverse graphs. So it's actually basically percentage of free. And you see here in brackets, not used. So don't get caught out by that one. So basically this is the free memory. In this case, the free CPU. We can have a look down here on the actual memory and we see a similar sort of thing of an inverted graph. So it's easy to get caught out by this. Okay, so you can see that basically we've got plenty of space here and recently this server's not being used very much at all. And if we wanna look at other metrics and um, we can do that, specifically, um, you know, some of these like the varnish rates, these are a bit more technical, but it's all in here. There's a lot of good stuff for you to play with. And if you want to see what's happening in the last hour or so, you've got that as well. So you can see a better graph and you can see the whole statistics. So that's how you know if you can downgrade or not. Yahoo! Okay, let's give it a go at downscaling, downgrading. You need to come into the server and then click on your vertical scaling. So if you want to go up, as I said, it's very easy. Coming down is a little bit tricky because it's like, oh, oh. Oh, not allowing us. You have to clone this server. Huh? Cloning a server? Hey, it's not that difficult. Cloning a server is basically taking a copy. And Cloudways allows you to take copies of servers very easy. So, okay, it's not going to allow us to downgrade easily. But upgrading, you can see very easy. Now, you'll notice these little icons. If you haven't seen Cloudways for a while, then basically you can see that there's actually some premium servers. This is for specifically for uh, DigitalOcean. Now, on other service providers that Cloudways provides, then they'll have different setups. But I recommend DigitalOcean. They're a rock solid company, and I've used them now for four or five years. So basically, DigitalOcean is inside Cloudways. It's one of the service providers. DigitalOcean is the real company that's providing these at uh, the end of the line uh, market service for Cloudways. Okay, so we can't come down, so we've got to clone. Okay, let's go and clone it. We have to come back into our server and pick up our server. Now, over here on the right-hand side, and I think they call this a hamburger menu, but like, how about veg menu? <laughs> okay, I don't eat meat. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of things I don't do. Okay, can you see the option here, clone server? Pretty cool. No difficulty to do that. Yes, away we're going. So basically this little menu on the right hand side, that little three dots is your magic menu inside Word, inside uh, Cloudways. So click it for information that you don't know about. So in a second, what it's gonna do, it's gonna ask us for a new server, which is a new location potential as well. So at this point, if you've had problems with your latency, 
check out this video about latency if you don't know what latency is all about. And basically, you can actually change your server location to speed things up. So this is a good time when you downscale because you're moving your server to a different, potential different location to actually change it. Because down here, you've got your location. You can put it in a different place. So you can solve two problems at the same time. Yoo-hoo! Okay, now here's the server. We can choose whatever we like now in here. So right now, a four gig premium. Now, have a look down here because that's a one gig. And basically, if you look at the price, $12. If we look at a one gig non-premium, $10. Why would you not go for the premium for $2? The same with the two gig. So I recommend that it's $26 or for the non-premium, $22. So there's $4 difference there. But basically, if you're downscaling, I suggest that if you're using DigitalOcean, which I recommend, you actually go for these premium servers. They're worth it for the small amount of money. There's a big difference. I've noticed with the speed tests I've done that you get better results. Okay, we're now gonna go down to super, super lightweight server, which is a one gig memory and one gig uh, CPU. So, okay, 12 bucks a month. Yeah, hey, right, clone server and off we go. And this is in London. Gonna take eight minutes, coffee time. <laughs> While that's all running, we've got two things that we must fix up in order for this to work because we've taken a copy of one server and put it to another server. What's gonna happen is you get a new IP address. That's a problem because you've got something called your DNS, your name, name server, which basically points your domain name to a specific server via an IP address. You've got a problem, you've got a new DNS and number, new IP address. So basically because of that, you're gonna to have to change that. Now, how do we do that? Well, it depends on who your domain name service provider is. So in this case, let's have a look at GoDaddy. This is how you do it inside GoDaddy. It's a pretty popular thing. And I've used GoDaddy now for many years. And they're good for domain names. They're not good for, for hosting. Sorry, GoDaddy, hopeless for hosting. Never use them for hosting. I've had a lot of problems. Many, many clients, I moved them off and put them on Cloudways. Right, you come into here into your DNS management and you have to change these IP addresses because now you're gonna get a new IP address. So we've got to come in here and change the IP address. Let's assume that Basically, we need to change it to 124. Okay, 124, All right? Now down here, we click on save. We have to change it in the other one as well, because in this case, we've actually got an A record. I'm not gonna go into DNS today. You get an A record to your www. So we have to change that one as well. Okay, so you gotta remember that. That's 124 as well. Oh, hey, woohoo! DNS fixed. Now, right now, because we changed the DNS, what's gonna happen is that the, the new server will become the live site, but we've not fixed something. We haven't fixed up the information that connects the DNS and everything together within Cloudways. So the site's gonna be broken. Let's go very quickly to basically fix that because really we should do that first. So I'm doing this for you so that you actually understand that this is a mistake. You should do this one first. So the thing we need to fix is our domain management. So we come under the application and actually click on domain management. So, which is down here on the menu. Now, in this case, this is one of my other sites. So, in this case, we need to delete it from the old server. So, in here, we click on delete. Now, I'm gonna do, not gonna do that because it's a live site. And we click on the delete, and it will actually remove the actual connection, the whole things that are wired together that's basically connecting Cloudways to your DNS. So, it's gone. Now there's one more thing we need to actually fix as well, which is our SSL certificates, which is basically the security on our site because the certificates pointing towards the old uh, IP address. So we need to actually remove that while we actually do this transition. So we come into the SSL certificate, <laughs> SSL certificate under the application, remember. Now over here, there's the domain as it, you saw from the actual domain management, and we need to revoke this. Now I'm not gonna do that again because this is a live site, another live site. So you click on revoke and that's got rid of basically the domain management and the SSL. So what you need to do now, once the actual, the DNS is actually transferred across to the new IP address. I hope you got that right. <laughs> once the DNS IP address is transferred across to the new IP address. <laughs> okay, give up. Right, then basic once everything is ready, you basically can actually transfer across everything to the new server. So let's assume everything is good and we come now back into our original, server, original applications, come across to the clone site that you've just created. And basically, you need to then go into domain management and you need to set it up correct. So in this case, let's do um, affyboy.com. 
Okay, save changes and away we go. So it will create that domain management in there. Then we go into the SSL certificate and set that up as well. And basically, you're all good. Yay! So a few extra steps that are needed in here. And basically, but it's pretty easy, you know, a couple of steps, a few button presses. The last thing that you need to do, and you shouldn't do this for one week, hold on for one week, is get rid of the original server. You don't want it hanging around. It's costing you money to start off with. And secondly, it's actually a risk because if somebody else comes into here, they don't know what's the live server. It's confusing. When I work on other people's sites, other clients' sites, and there's like a lot of trash there, I have no idea what's going on. It costs clients a fortune sometimes for me to clear up all the clutter. Okay, so we'll finally delete the server. Deleting servers is really easy. Come in here into the veggie menu, <laughs> click on it, and delete. And it's going to ask you some specific questions. We don't need it. But now this is the important one. Be very, very focused at this point, because if you delete a server that you need, it's gone. No backups, everything's gone. So I check up here to make sure it's in here. Then I type in here the word delete. Now I check again. Before I hit this button, I hold and I check and I check again. Submit, clone, yes, submit. Right, good. Phew. Okay, it's going to get rid of basically whatever server I've, I want to get rid of. Now, you'd notice I've got rid of this clone server because I need to get rid of that one. And I also need to get rid of the other one because both of them are actually, um, you know, just for this particular video. Ha! Huh. Right, we've done it. Yes. So now we've got some great benefits, haven't we? Yes. Basically, we're saving a bit of money. We might have got it excited at the beginning, created a big server because we thought we needed that. But we found out that using the monitoring, we haven't actually sort of needed that at all. So basically now we've saved some money and we've possibly potentially moved our server to another better location that's closer to our target market as well, which will speed up our website. So I hope you got a lot of value out of today. And if you want to watch another video about Cloudway settings, check this one out here. This one will show you some specific details about basically how to do other settings on Cloudways that will be really good. 